Are we finally getting some PlayStation 5 information next week? Let's talk about it right now. What a crazy week this has been in gaming. First of all, the Xbox Series S was leaked and then it was confirmed by Xbox and then the Xbox Series X information, pre-order date, price, and the pre-order window as well as the release date was all revealed and confirmed by Microsoft. Now, it was done on the anniversary of the PS1, 25 years of PS1 you know, history, and we got Xbox information instead, which I don't know if that was you know, meant to happen. I think that Xbox Series S leak is what caused Xbox to just show us all that information. But the main point in this video is about the PlayStation 5 because we have been left yet again another week with no PlayStation 5 information and people want to know information about this console and I know a lot of people out there are saying that you know they were waiting for Xbox to reveal their information so that Sony can go ahead and reveal their price, pre-order and release date for the PS5. I myself included am one of the ones that said that Microsoft was probably going to reveal the information first just like they did last time with the last generation which was the Xbox One X and the PS4, you know guys that, you know, Xbox went ahead and revealed the price for that and then PlayStation revealed the PS4 price for that as well. The thing about this video though is that we have PAX, the PAX conference, the gaming information conference that's happening next week is a PAX event and as you guys may know, this is like a big event in the industry, a lot of different developers and game companies, they showcase their brand new games and showcase a bunch of the stuff that's coming and it's usually like a, an event that happens all over the world, PAX East, West and Australia and stuff like that, like it just happens everywhere and this time because of COVID-19 is not going to happen, you know, in person but it's going to happen online and there is something kind of curious about this this time around because right now there is a mystery PlayStation event that's going to happen or an announcement or some kind of event that is planned for this day, which is September 18th, that is next Friday. And if you check out the link in the description down below, you can go to the PAX website yourself. There you can see a placeholder and it's called Sony Holder. So we don't know any information about this at all. So hopefully it is some concrete information about the PS5, but I just want to go ahead and mention one of the things that has been bothering me personally, and I know a lot of you guys out there don't believe a word anybody says unless it comes from PlayStation. Well, it turns out that I feel the same way, guys. I know that there's been rumors and leaks and blah, 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 and insiders and experts and people talking about this and people that are sources. And trust me, bro, I know. Yeah, like who, who, who out there has this information besides Sony? So I fell for the whole rumor leaks back in June 
And uh, since then, I stopped believing everything I see. So right now, the past leak that we got that said that UK store said that we were gonna get PS5 information this week and instead we got Xbox information, well, I didn't believe that. I just told you guys, I reported on it because it was my duty to talk about it, but I don't think that you know, it was gonna happen. I didn't think that it was gonna happen or that anything was gonna come of it because you know, Sony said they are the ones that are gonna say and give all the information out themselves, not anybody else. So yes, guys, you know, a lot of people will continue to talk until Sony says, gives us the information themselves. Me, I'll talk about it, but I won't say it's confirmed because it's not, and I probably won't believe it. For some reason, there's a lot of chances all that stuff is just fake because people want clout. People want you know to have a following online or something like that, and I just don't believe those kind of things. But again, I will talk about them in case something does happen, just to keep you guys informed. But just know that 90% of the time, I will not believe that stuff either. So I just wanna go ahead and get that out there and let you guys know. But yeah, guys, next week, we do have that, you know, that placeholder there at the PAX website, so that is legit, but we don't know what it's about. We don't know if it's about the PS5 or a brand new PS5 game or any game that they're just gonna talk about and give more information at PAX, you know, the uh, PAX convention or whatever it is that you wanna call it, the PAX event. Now, one more thing, I don't think Sony wants to announce PS5 price, pre-order and release date at a PAX event. I would think they wanna do this on their own, like, you know, accounts, like their PlayStation YouTube account or the PlayStation Twitter account or the PlayStation blog with a video or something, I don't think it would happen at a PAX online convention. I might be wrong, I could be wrong possibly, but I think Sony would wanna go ahead and make their own event and make it just all about PS5 that one time instead of having to go to this other outlet, which is PAX, and give the information out there. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I wanna hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching all my videos. And if you guys like this video, like, share, and subscribe, please don't forget to turn that bell notification on. As soon as we get more PS5 information, I will go ahead and let you guys know about it. All the links in the description will be the sources and stuff like that, so check that out. And also, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later, and peace out.